Um, so I just really want to talk you through, you know, we've had some some really faithful um, kind of stakeholders and new stakeholders that come along um, continuously. But I just want to, before we we um, kind of start this new mission, just want to reflect quickly back on, on some of the things that we've done um, over the, the past couple of years. But before I do that, in terms of the, the roundtable conversations, I think what's really important is, um, you know, there's a lot of new initiatives that are moving forwards there's lots of ways that that we can try and um communicate i appreciate that often these types of events are very much set to transmit um and that you know they're every other month so how can we um try and help support keeping the, the conversation going in between the meetings so um part of our kind of effort towards this is uh, a new initiative that i'm seeing look, looking at some of your names i can see you on there already but there's a, a new regional innovation platform that the command authority has um invested seed funding into called the grid um it's a place that we're looking to capitalize on to try and encourage more um conversation around the the five different missions of the um west midlands digital roadmap so if you, um, I'll send out the links to this later, but it's it's basically the hyphen grid.com. And you'll see when you log in and set up your account of, of preset the uh, five different communities, which have uh, really an opportunity for you to um, feed in any of your, your activity that's happening. And we can obviously then map things that aren't and feed this all through to uh, Adam. So I think this, this um, will be a really great avenue for you to not only be able to engage with the roadmap, but understand a lot about other um, kind of innovation opportunities across the region and um, so I won't dwell on that too much but uh, I will send you a link for you to follow through on that what I would like to do and I might start crying during this point because this is really emotional for me um, but I just want to take you quick quickly down a, a walk down memory lane uh, for the smart city lights over the last couple of years and I've even done amazingly dreamy transitions to go along with the kind of sentiment of this so we, do you remember going to Steamhouse? We we took you to Steamhouse when it had not long been opened. We gave you all a tour. We heard, heard some great presentations from people from Oxford, um, Wimap, all sorts of amazing things that were happening around the city. Um, you'll also probably remember going to University of Birmingham. You kindly hosted us. We had a South Korean delegation that were coming over investigating smart cities and um, a company called Enlighten and their AR technology for mental health. And our, our kind of departing gift to the University of Birmingham students was jumping up and down on their energy generating pavements. Well, they, they were levitating there. We, yeah. we are indeed. We left them with uh, probably enough uh, energy to charge an iPhone for half an hour, I think someone told us. So Pam's looking extremely animated there. She obviously enjoyed it pr probably more than she should have done. <laughs> Valentina Barker also looking like she's enjoying herself quite a lot there. Um, yeah, from there, we also um, saw the launch of CityGate, uh, um, kindly hosted by Birmingham City University at uh, Millennium Point, Adela Neighbours on the, the call today. Um, this was absolutely packed. And when we're talking about data sharing, um, you know, Alex, um, uh, Adele, sorry, has had some amazing initiatives, um, including Birmingham in real time and all sorts yes. of things. So we'll absolutely be feeding this type of stuff in. Um, from there, you will probably also remember the trip around Ebury and meeting Pippa the robot. That was one of my uh, one of my highlights of running the Smart City Alliance and Eva Block there from Innovate UK with us. Um, and we also during the first ever Birmingham Tech Week took everybody to Coventry. We broke the mould of the the Birmingham title and, and took everyone to MTC. Um, unfortunately, Pam. I and um, Alex forgot our passports <laughs> and ID, so we, we weren't actually allowed to go on the tour, but everybody else did. Um, so yeah, the, the other thing that's happened is, you know, this isn't the best scenario. We can't take you around some of these amazing places in the region doing smart stuff, but what what COVID and, and kind of virtual and, and Zoom has enabled is international sessions with people like um, E-Estonia. And that was really, really interesting and has, has influenced some other areas of our work as well. So really, I just wanted to say an absolutely massive thank you to Alex. Um, Rick has, uh, has kind of been a silent co-chair as well during this. I want to give a nod to Rick Robinson as well, who's now moved to uh, Jacobs. But, um, you know, from me to you, Alex, I think I, I absolutely categorically have had a blast doing this with you. And obviously we'll still stay involved, but it's time to, to hand over the mantle. So on that basis, and I'll, I'll leave Alex to do it officially, but I just want to introduce you to um, Sarah Windrum, our new chair, and um, Devin Geary, 
who will be joining us shortly um, to be the new network and partnership manager. So I'm not saying that this is kind of girls versus boys, but we will be sending out a questionnaire in 12 months. To no, it definitely is. Better. No, it is. It's so, not a competition, but we're going to win. Exactly. So Alex, I just wanted to kind of <laughs> hand over to you now, really, and um, and, and leave you to, uh, to hand over to Sarah and, and say what you want to. Yeah, so Devin, those are fighting. Okay, fair enough. You'll probably win, Devin. Uh, Ian and I are wimps. Um, yeah, so uh, as Ian said, I think we've probably had too much fun uh, doing this, um, which is why we've brought uh, some serious people to, to actually take some of this stuff forward. Um, uh, and But we have, I think, covered a lot of ground. We have been the catalyst. We have been a, a convener. Uh, and I think we have been... Uh, able to showcase a lot of what the region can do. Uh, I started engaging with this when I was, you know, way back when, when I was in the corporate world. Uh, and I used to bring some of the VPs along to the Smart City Alliance in a consulting environment um, because it was the first place you'd go to hear about things that nobody had seen before and get a picture of the region and what it's doing. Because I, I think one of the things that lots of people said a few years ago was that we're rubbish at telling the story of how well we're doing. Um, whereas you've got London and Bristol who are just better at telling the story, actually not even as good as we are. They just shout louder. So what we've found is that now what we're going to do now is passing it over to, to our personal megaphone, Sarah uh, and Devon, who are, are now going to take it forward and really help us to showcase what we're doing. So thank you very much for even staying here today and listening. Uh, really is uh, has been a fantastic uh, journey and of course we're staying involved.